<laughs> Is that true? No, I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what happened? I read this book. Robert had this book in, in his, uh, he had this book in his drawer called Leather Boys. And like, I, I picked it up the other night because he went out. And once he got those leather pants, he'd be down on Christopher Street <laughs> shaking those buttons. In its day, Robert having his nipple pierced achieved some notoriety as an underground classic and even had the dubious distinction of alerting Andy Warhol to the potential of movie making. Like, it was like my boyfriend or nothing. I guess the reason, the only reason I don't like it is because, like, they got secrets. I was living at the Chelsea Hotel at the time, and I just, it just seemed like an interesting idea. I didn't, uh, I just thought it would be interesting to have a, a ring through your tip, because I, I had maybe seen it in a movie or something, but it wasn't uh, something anybody had at that moment. And so I mentioned it to a friend of mine who was a filmmaker, Sandy Daly, and she uh, sort of went with it. She, you know, I, I probably it was a sort of whim one night, and all of a sudden there was a whole situation where I was to get my nipple pierced. So, you know, you know, in the, in the end, I think it's sort of silly, but because it was before I had any knowledge of what all that was about sexually. I mean, I learned. But uh, Although I tried, I tried at the time, it was just an affectation, you know. Anyway, I wanted to see the scar. Oh, One yeah. reason I guess I'm quite yeah. thankful that well, I'm the age I am, because I was able to live through the whole and also, 60s, and, and, you know, I was an art student. It was perfect, you know, perfect timing to go through those changes which we all went through at that time, I think. It's a moment that I'm glad I sort of experienced here in New York. I just picked up picked up the razor.